Hello students, how are you all? I hope that you are doing fine and taking all the safety measures and precautions in this pandemic, Corona. And I hope that you are enjoying our new distance learning program. Now education meets online. We have seen all the information related to that in our last video. And now we will discuss the new feature of our distance learning program that is discuss with lecturer. Now you can see on the interface that one page which is already open, you can see that there are multiple lecturers and you can see the icon as well discuss with me. Okay, so what exactly is this and how to use it, how to log in in this website, we'll see the brief information about it. So very first, what we have to do is that we have to go through the search engine Google, right? So here we have to type that edurlp.com. Okay, we have to enter it. Okay, once you enter in it, okay, you will see the home page of Reliance. You have to click on it. It will take a few time to open. See, now we have redirected to the page of Reliance. You can see multiple options at the right hand corner. In that, you can see Nemo, N E M O. Nemo is the same application which we have seen in our last video, which is now education meets online. You have to click on this option, you have to scroll down, and you will see one option over here connect with faculties right you have to enter on it you have to click the button connect with faculties once you click on this button you will redirect to the page discuss with the lecturer which i briefed you earlier okay so what exactly is this see students we have seen that when you are going to the assignments and the test Okay, we have provided you an, op an option over there that you can raise your doubt. Sometimes it happens that you may come across some doubt. Okay, your doubt may resolve by the teacher. Okay, but you will not understand it completely. So what we prefer is to have a face to face discussion, right? But due to this pandemic, we are not at college. We don't have any access to the teachers, but still we can get the access of all the our all the national faculties. Okay, through the this application, right? So what we have to do is now what we can see on our page that we can see the multiple teachers, multiple national faculties of different different subjects. Okay, so for an example, we'll take Krishna Pandey sir of chemistry. Okay, I have a doubt of chemistry of particular any any uh, random uh, topic. Okay, I have to discuss with Krishna Pandesar related to that doubt. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to click on the discuss with me button. Okay, you can see I have clicked on the button. We have to wait for some, we have to wait for a moment. So it will redirect you to the page, the schedule of meeting, right? So we have to schedule our meeting accordingly. Okay, so we have given the a date and a time. So we have to select a specific date suppose if i'm selecting today's date it's 23rd july right okay so i'll click on it okay 23rd july okay one thing that we have to take in consideration that the meeting which we are going to schedule is going to last for only 15 minutes okay we are not going to exceed it more than 15 minutes because window period which has been given is of only 15 minutes but if you have any doubts or if your doubt session will not be completed in 15 minutes, if you think that it will extend uh, much more than that, okay, so what you can do is you can select multiple, yes, you can select multiple time slots and you can book accordingly. So you can, your doubt will be resolved. Okay. So for an example, uh, we'll, we'll uh, take, we'll, schedule our meeting on 23rd of july once you click on 23rd 
date 23rd july you will get the multiple time slots at the right hand corner you can select any of them or you can select multiple time slots i'll i'll select one time slot is 9:45 to 10 okay i'll confirm it i'll click on a button confirm it will redirect you to the page okay where you have to add your complete name you have to type your complete name then you have to type your email address see one thing you need to know you need to uh, take in consideration that the email address which you are going to enter over here should have your access you need to have the access of this email address otherwise you will not be able to interact with the teacher right you have to add email address which you have access with then if if you want to go for the group discussion if any of your friend is having the same doubt if you want to discuss on the same topic then you can click on a button okay which is given here add guest and you can add 10 students or 10 your 10 10 friends okay in this group discussion okay here it has been notified that notify up to 10 additional guests of the scheduled event means in the same time slot you can add you can have a discussion okay with nine other your nine of your other friends right means 10 people all together can discuss at the same time okay so you have to type the email address of your friends those who are having the same doubt they wish to discuss with the concerned faculty okay and then here you have to give a brief about the discussion topic here so that the teacher the concerned teacher can prepare himself okay if suppose i'm typing how to prepare for how to prepare chemistry chemistry Okay, then we have to click on a button schedule event. It will take few seconds to schedule your event. Okay, once your event is confirmed, once your schedule event is confirmed, you will get the message, you will get the time slot and a date. Okay, right? So your schedule is confirmed. Okay, after that, what you have to do, you have to go to your email. Okay, the same email which you have added in your scheduled event. Okay, what you can see is you have received one email. You have to click on that email. You have to go through the information which has been given in that email. It will describe you re related to all the information which you have scheduled for your meeting. Right? So you can see that when, where, when it's 24th July, where Google Meet. Okay join into join with the google meet and there is one link and with whom okay okay with whom your meeting is scheduled right so there are multiple options there are multiple students which is which are with you in this meeting okay so you have to click on the given link meet.google.com okay you have to click on this link And it will uh, redirect to your so now here you have to take two things in a consideration one if you are logging in through your PC okay you need not to download Google meet app okay once you click on the button once you once you click on the uh, link given in your email it will directly re, uh, it will be it will take you directly to the Google meet but if you are logging in through your Android phone, okay, very first you have to go to your Google Play Store and you have to download the Google Meet app. Okay, then you will be having access to have a interaction with our national faculties related to your doubts. That's all. Thank you very much.